my name is Dr. Edward Cook. I was both a GP in the Black Country for 46 years and a hospital practitioner at Heartlands Hospital in Birmingham in ENT surgery. This is a book about growing up, growing up um, in the grey post-World War II times of the Black Country uh, and adventures and misadventures in general practice over the last 46 years. I was a war baby, not a baby boomer. There's a, there's a difference. When I grew up, um, everything was grey. You could have you could you could have um, any cars any colour you like as long as they were black. And for example, my school uniform was black shoes, grey socks, grey trousers, grey blazer, grey hat, and a grey shirt. And everything was grey after the Second World War. And it was it was not a the black country was black. Um, I've written down all my stories about growing up after the Second World War and all the experiences I've had in general practice. I've on purposely missed out my hospital experience. And as I was asked by this, this patient, um, as I said, he's quite a famous gentleman now, um, I've spent five years writing down all these stories in secret. I never told anyone, not even my wife, and researching all the um, uh, references that are in the book and the book uh, contains a lot of uh, quite gritty stories some are happy but some are incredibly sad um, and in the book I tried to champion the underdog as well but the main thing I tried to, sh to show in the book was the stoical nature of the black country folk uh, and their, their quirky sense of humour um, and it is very quirky. <laughs> People in Birmingham don't understand black country sense of humour. Um, and, and finally, I, I try to stress as a, as a doctor, is that um, we, we, us British, we have a problem with running down our great in institutions, especially the national press and the television. Um, we all pick on what's gone wrong today. Uh, there'll be something in the national news, every national newspaper today, there'll be something that's gone wrong with the health service. They miss out the 30 million things that have gone right with the health service today. Um, for example, everybody knows, everybody knows how about the A&E department in Stafford and closing the hospital down. I, I don't know very much about Stafford, but I know the ENT department, because I was an ENT surgeon, and it's a bloody good ENT department. I was working at Heartlands Hospital, which is in the news this week, for, uh, for a, a massive overspend. And when I first went to Heartlands Hospital, the patients were in sheds, uh, open air sheds. It was an old TB hospital. And, and the treatment they get nowadays is so much better. And this is mirrored in black country life because the black country is no longer black. You can wear clothes of any colour, you can buy cars of any colour. And it isn't black country anymore. It's the same am amorphous mixture of colours right the rest of the country. And I've tried to stress all that in the book and bring it all out.